Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll give you an overview of working between Lightroom on your desktop and Lightroom on your mobile devices and the web to give you a sense of what you can do when you have a Creative Cloud subscription. I'm recording this video with Lightroom 6 because I'm assuming Creative Cloud subscribers have upgraded. If you're still using Lightroom 5 though, you won't find any differences in syncing except at one point where I right click in the identity plate area here. Now this isn't intended to be a detailed lesson in how to use every feature of mobile and web. That's outside the scope of this video series. The first step in the process is to enable syncing here in Lightroom on your desktop. You'll click on the identity plate and then click on the start button next to sync with Lightroom mobile. Before I get into the sync process, let me show you what's in Preferences. On a PC, you would go to Edit. On a Mac, you'll go to Lightroom, and then down to Preferences. On the Lightroom Mobile tab, you'll see your Adobe ID information and whether you're subscribed to the Creative Cloud. You could click on Join to start a subscription. You can also see your account information out on Adobe.com. If you have trouble with syncing, sometimes it helps to delete all of the data that's been sent up to the cloud so that Lightroom can resync or resend it to the cloud. Finally, you have the option to prevent your computer from going to sleep if Lightroom is currently syncing photos. Starting with Lightroom 6.4, we have one more preference here to specify where photos go that Lightroom syncs from our mobile device camera roll. I'll come back to this setting. I'm going to close out or cancel out of preferences. Now that we've enabled syncing, you'll need to create one or more collections of photos that you want to sync to your mobile devices. Lightroom can sync collections, but not folders. For a detailed lesson on creating collections, watch my video on collections. Note that you can only sync regular collections, collections that you drag photos to. At least at the time I'm recording this video, you can't sync smart collections. If when you create the collection, you know that you're going to want to sync it to your mobile devices, you'll check this box to sync with Lightroom Mobile. You'll only see this box if you've clicked on the identity plate and enabled syncing. And of course, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. If you decide later you want to sync a collection, it's as simple as clicking on this box to the left of the collection. Now up in the status bar, we see that Lightroom is syncing these eight photos. It's sending them up to the cloud, meaning to Adobe's servers, and then down to your mobile devices. It's actually not copying or syncing your original RAW files. It's syncing small DNG RAW files. These are smaller in pixels and they're compressed. So the file sizes are much smaller and syncing is much faster. Because they're DNG RAW files though, you can edit them on your mobile devices. Now the syncing process has stopped. I wanna show you one more thing about the identity plate here. If I right click on it, I've chosen to show sync with Lightroom Mobile in the status bar. So that's why we were seeing the sync activity up here in the top left. Okay, so we've told Lightroom to sync our collection to our mobile devices. Let me go ahead now and go to my iPhone. I'll open up the Lightroom mobile app that I downloaded from the App Store. And I've already logged in. And here's my collection of Oregon photos that's been sent over from my desktop. I'll tap to open it. And then I can tap on an individual photo to see it. Now I'm going to do some quick work here and then we're going to see that that work automatically gets synced back to Lightroom on my desktop. I just think that that's so cool. Now instruction on all of the features here in Lightroom Mobile is beyond the scope of this video series. In addition, new features are added all the time and ways of doing things change. So the exact how-to that I show here may change. But my goal really is to show you the syncing. I'm going to tap on the three dots on the left to get to flags and stars. I'll tap on stars and give this three stars. Then I'll tap on the flags and give this a pick flag. 
and then I'll do a little bit of developing. I'll tap on the three dots to the right and I'll crop the photo. Click on the checkbox and then I'm going to convert it to black and white just so that we can easily see that editing work has been done here on my mobile device. Now I'll go back to grid view. I'm going to jump back over to Lightroom on my desktop. Here's the photo that I worked on. Pretty soon we're going to see the develop work on this photo. We can see here in the film strip that it's syncing. That's what this little symbol is. So there we go. It's in black and white and it's been cropped. If I go back to grid view, we see the three stars and the pick flag on it. So you can work on your photos while you're on the bus and your work shows up back here in Lightroom Desktop. If I convert this back to color, I'm just going to type V, which is a shortcut. And then I'll go back over to my phone and I'll tap on the photo and pretty shortly we'll see that it's been converted to color. It's not an instant process. It does take some time. But of course, usually I'm not sitting here with both my computer and my phone waiting for the work to show up. And here's the photo in color. Now I'll also show you here on your phone or your mobile device that you can add photos from your camera roll. I'll go to my Lightroom Photos and I'll tap on Add Photos and I'll just choose a couple photos here. I'll tap on Add to Photos. Here they are here on my mobile device. I'll go back to Lightroom on the desktop. This may take a little bit of time, but once you've added photos to Lightroom Mobile on your mobile device, the photos will show up here in the Folders panel in Lightroom on your desktop. These are full-size copies of your original photos and your videos. They'll show up under a separate section. Here's my iPhone section here. We have an Imported Photos folder, and we see eight photos that I've added from my camera roll on my phone. Now, these photos are sitting in an LR data file in your user folder on your computer. They're embedded in a database. You can leave them there as long as you're backing up your entire user folder, or you can create one or more folders down here in your Master Photos folder and then you could move the photos into there. My video on file and folder management talks about creating folders and moving photos from one folder to another. I like to move my photos out of this database and down into my Master Pictures folder. Starting with Lightroom 6.4, or rather CC 2015.4, we now can choose a different location for these photos to go that are being synced from our mobile devices. So they no longer have to go into this LR data file. To change the location, go up to Edit on a PC or Lightroom on a Mac and down to Preferences. On the Lightroom Mobile tab, we have a new location section. Check the box to specify a location and then you'll choose that location. One option is to have your mobile device photos slotted into date folders within your main structure here. To set it up this way, click on the Choose button and choose your Master Photos folder. Mine's Photos Go Here, so I'll select Photos Go Here within Pictures. Then click on Choose in the bottom right. Next, click on the box to use subfolders formatted by capture date. And to the right, click on the drop-down and choose the same format that you use in the Import dialog. I use a date folder within a year folder where the date folder is just month, day. If instead you prefer all of your mobile device photos to go into one folder, then uncheck the box to use subfolders formatted by capture date and choose that specific folder. In my case, if I don't want Lightroom to create individual date folders for these photos, it might make sense within my current year folder to create a new folder called iPhone Photos. I'll click Create and choose. So those are the two options. On a PC, you can click on OK. I'll close Preferences. Notice that that doesn't change the location of photos that have already been synced. So you'll still need to move these as I described. 
So that's the interaction between Lightroom Desktop and Lightroom Mobile on your mobile devices. You can also view your collections of photos that you've synced out on the web, and you can share a link with people so that they can see them. To do that, you'll select your collection that you've chosen to sync. You can either go up to the Make Public button, or you can right-click on your collection and go to Lightroom Mobile Links and choose to make the collection public. We now see a URL here that you can share with people. You can also right-click on your collection and go to Lightroom Mobile Links and then copy the public link to your clipboard and then paste it into an email to send to people. Now public is a confusing term. The collection is just public to anybody who has the link. I'm going to click on the URL here to go out to Lightroom Web to see what people would view. Now other people will have to sign in with an Adobe ID before they can get to your collection of photos. Then they can click and move through your photos. They can like the photo or heart the photo, and then they can make comments on it. I'll go ahead and write a comment here. This isn't my favorite. And then I'll post the comment. Now I, as the creator of the collection, could come out to Lightroom Web and comment back. I can also now go to Lightroom on my desktop and all of the comments and likes that people have made have been synced back here to Lightroom on my desktop. This little orange badge means that this photo has new comments. I see that badge on my collection as well. I'll select the photo and then I'll open up the right hand panel strip and I'll scroll down to the comments panel. I see that I've got two comments, and really what that is is one like and then one comment here. Here in the comments panel, I can also add a new comment myself to respond to the comments that I've received. So I'll say thank you for your feedback. I'll hit enter, and I'll go out to Lightroom Web, and I'll refresh this, and we see my comment has been added here as well. Let me go back to Lightroom on my desktop, and then I'll collapse this panel. If you no longer want to share this collection of photos, click on the Make Private button. Now the URL that you shared is no longer valid. So that's how you share collections using Lightroom Web. Now if you've been syncing a collection to your mobile devices and to the web, and you no longer want to see that collection out there, then you can click on this box again to stop syncing. So these photos will be removed from your mobile devices. They'll still be here in your collection on Lightroom Desktop though. I'll cancel out of this. The last thing I want to show you out on the web at lightroom.adobe.com. So as a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can work with your photos that you've synced from Lightroom on your desktop or your mobile devices here in a web browser without having access to Lightroom. So maybe you're traveling and you're using somebody else's computer. They don't have Lightroom and they certainly don't have your Lightroom catalog. You can upload photos, even RAW files, and work on them here in this web browser. And then they'll be synced back to your desktop computer when you get home. I'll go into my collection of Oregon photos and click on one just to show you that you have the ability to edit the photos here in the web browser as well. So I'm not trying to sell anybody a Creative Cloud subscription, but with a Creative Cloud subscription, you really can work with your photos anywhere. One little feature I forgot to mention, we talked about creating collections here to sync. If you're importing photos and you know you're going to want to sync them to your mobile devices, right here in the import dialog, you can choose to add your photos to a collection. You can create a new collection here and check this box to sync with Lightroom Mobile. That way you don't have the extra step after import of creating the collection. So that's the overview of working between Lightroom on your desktop and Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Web. I'm really excited to see where this goes in the future.